What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network with a reading of the Zero Link Bitcoin Fungibility Framework. Chapter 2, Part A A Premix Wallet. A premix wallet can be any Bitcoin wallet without much privacy requirements. Premix wallets must either get Bitcoin addresses off the postmix wallet directly, for instance, through a local RPC API, or through the sharing of the postmix wallet extended public key. In the latter case, the premix wallet must not share the extended public key or any of the derived keys of the postmix wallets with any third party. The prefix wallet must be mixing from segregated witness output, and this lowers the size of the transaction, thus enabling lower transaction fees overall, and allows for a higher theoretical anonymity set, and enables faster mixing by not needing to wait for confirmation when the input and the output of the Xiaomi coins transaction, uh, because the transaction will not be malleated. Premix and postmix wallets may be separate wallets accounts within the same wallet. From an end user perspective, the following uh, graphical user interface workflow illustrates how such a wallet might work. This is a screenshot from the hidden wallet, and the tumble pit cannot seal your coins nor de anonymize you. And you're currently queuing your coins for mixing with tumble bits. Uh, in this onion address, the status is online, the, de the denomination is one Bitcoin, the tumbler fee one percent, and time to tumble the first coin was 2.8 hours ago. And you can select wallets from either Alice or Bob. Then you can send money from Bob to Alice, one Bitcoin, and this is the estimated network fee. And here you can start mixing over Tor. Retrieving transaction information. A pre-mix wallet can be used a privacy breaching way to retrieve transactions and balance information. For instance, it can query its address balances through a web API. In this case, the web API knows how all the addresses the user possesses. However, a pre-mix wallet must not use the privacy breaching way to acquire information about the children of the extended public key. Otherwise, it would expose the postmix wallet to a third party. An additional problem is that the premix wallet cannot ever register the same address twice to a tumbler. Therefore, the premix wallet must always register the next unused extended public key, child key. And that was not registered before. A user to use the same extended public key in multiple premix wallet is unlikely to happen, as well as should be discouraged. If this is a given, a premix wallet can record can keep records which derived keys is already registered before and never acquire their balances. This approach brings additional issues at wallet recovery. Another way to solve this is to have a server that tells the premix wallets all the addresses that have ever been used in the coin joint transaction. In this case, the premix wallet does not expose which address it is inter interested in because it gets all the addresses that any premix wallet can be interested in. Additionally, a premix wallet must keep records of which derived keys it already registered before. This approach is reliable. It can handle proper wallet recovery, and in the case it's if multiple premix wallets use the same extended public key, some information leak is still possible, however, it is unlikely. Information leaks happen if a malicious actor disrupts a round that the user is participating in, and the user either decides or recovers its wallets, or is using the same extended public key in another premix wallet right after the disrupted round, and the tumbler does not reject the already registered but unused address, and the tumbler is malicious. If the above conditions are true, the tumbler may be able to de-anonymize the user. The tumbler may be a third party who serves the address. In this case, the tumbler could serve the already registered but unused address too. Pierce, thank you very much here for the reading of chapter three, part A, the premix wallet based on the Zero Link Bitcoin fungibility framework. As usual, thank you very much for joining me and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.